we just multiply across 3 times 3 to get 9, and 5 times 5 to get 25. 9 over 25 is our final solution. Notice we had to factor first before we are allowed to reduce. Let's take a look at another problem. This problem is a division problem. Division has one extra step at the beginning where we have to flip the second fraction and multiply. This makes the problem 5 eighths times 4 over 10. Now we can multiply it just like we multiplied the previous problem by finding common factors that we can reduce. Let's show the process of finding the common factors so we can see them divide out. 5 and 10 have a common factor of 5. This is because 5 is 5 times 1 and 10 is 5 times 2. Similarly, 8 and 4 have a common factor of 4. This is because 8 is 4 times 1 and I'm sorry, 8 is 4 times 2 and 4 is 4 times 1. We can now divide out the common factors of 5 and 4 that appear both in the numerator and the denominator. To get our final answer, we simply multiply across 1 times 1 is 1. In the denominator, 2 times 2 is 4 and we have our solution. It is important to note that when everything divided out of the numerator, it did not mean the answer was, sim was 0 or 4. It simply means when everything divides out, there is a 1 left over in the numerator. To multiply and divide fractions, we follow a very simple process. If it's division, we multiply by the reciprocal and then we find common factors we can divide out. Finally, we multiply across.